into the lock. Well, after a mains burst early yesterday, part of a 22-inch main collapsed near the river Blackwater, cutting off supplies to thousands of homes. Mid-Essex Water Company says most households should have supplies restored by now. And Ipswich Borough Council has set up a Christmas tree recycling scheme. Three collection points will be in operation around the town next week. The trees will be shredded for compost. That's the news. Just a reminder, there'll be more regional news on your BBC local radio stations between now and midnight. And I'll see you in breakfast news tomorrow morning. Good night. A very good evening to you. Well, 1992 started on a very blustery note, especially in the north. Scotland tonight, southwesterly, severe gales, gusts over 70 miles an hour, so there could well be some structural damage. And the strong winds you can see between these two weather fronts, the isobars very closely packed together, and the largest of the arrows showing severe gales up in the north, really. But the southwesterly winds freshening up just about everywhere, so a fairly windy period of weather. I think over the next day or two. Now there's some rain too uh, associated with that, particularly up in the north. The radar, the Scottish radar shows a lot of rain up through there and I think it's in the north and northwest where we're going to see the heaviest of the rain through tonight, the strongest of the winds. But a mild night, uh, five in Shetland, but I think the, the temperature's lifting up a bit there as the winds freshen up six degrees Celsius uh, down in parts of East Anglia. Well then tomorrow, it's going to be a terrible day up in northern and northwestern parts of Scotland. A very windy day, very wet weather, could be up to 50 millimetres of rain up through there. But the rain much more patchy in the southern part of Scotland. It could brighten up from time to time, particularly in the southeast. Now coming southwards over northern parts of England down into North Wales, a windy day certainly, the cloud on the western side, perhaps giving the odd spot or two a drizzle, but brightening up at times in the east. But the best of the watery sunshine tomorrow is likely over central and eastern parts of England there. The further west you come, the cloud thickening up, maybe the odd spot or two a drizzle on the western coast too. And altogether fairly windy, but very mild, although the wind's tempering those temperatures. And then during Friday, we're going to find this band of rain on that cold front coming southwards across the country eventually getting right down into uh, southern parts with the colder, brighter, showery weather tucking in behind and turning increasingly wintry up in the north, uh, a fair number of snow showers, I think, particularly up over the Scottish mountains. And then as we go to into Saturday, the weather reversing itself again, this mild, wetter weather coming northwards once again, and there could well be some fairly heavy rain on the western side of the country in particular. Well, that's it from me. A very good night to you. Into the new year with BBC One this Thursday. At eight, Compo, Clegg and a high flyer. <laughs> Talking of old faces, Gordon Brittus is strangely missing from his empire. He's definitely Gordon's. I recognise the misprint. Climb every mountain, fork every stream. <laughs> the bad news is it's the last in the series of canned carrots. The good news is, is that we've bought the series in on budget, right down to the very last... <laughs> At 10, the accused, a young woman's fight for justice. Mr. Tobias, while you were being gang-raped on that pinball machine, what were you thinking? Three men were repeatedly raping you, holding you down and raping you. What words came into your head? What words? No. Round off the night with you two and friends. That was the day before love came to town. Thursday night on BBC One. We've a choice of film entertainment on BBC Television to close this New Year's Day. Over on two in 20 minutes, Jeremy Irons stars as a Belgian expatriate facing a conflict of loyalties when he returns home after many years in Australia. Here on one at five to midnight, the horror movie Invitation to Hell. First comedy with an inspired performance from Dustin Hoffman as the gender-bending actor who assumes the role of Tootsie.